Hello and welcome to the Z Hut. Today I would like to show you how to make an Arduino controlled dice shaker. Now this is a fun little project to build. This is a, a great project for beginners because it's actually pretty simple. It might look complicated but uh, trust me here in a, in a minute or two we'll get into how it's put together and you'll see this is actually a real easy project to build. I highly recommend this for beginners, but uh, more advanced people that are playing with Arduinos might also find this fun to build because, um, number one, it's a no-cheat dice shaker. Um, you're not actually physically touching the dice, so there's no way to hold them in a special way and throw them to get them to... There's tricks. People that play craps, they hold the dice a certain way, and a lot of times they can get uh, a seven roll and stuff like that, but... With this setup, there's no way to cheat. Now, before we go any further, you could also have more than two dice in here, and you could also use a slightly bigger cup. Um, I tried on my first experience with this. I had a cup about twice the size, and I found I didn't quite need that just for two dice. But if you wanted to put um, more dice in, you could go with a cup about twice the size. So, All right, what we'll do here is I'm going to demonstrate it working. Then um, we'll take a look at how it's constructed, and then we'll go over to the computer, and I'll show you the sketch for the Arduino board here. And the sketch is pretty simple. Um, there's not a whole lot to it. And there's a couple things you could modify in it, and we'll go over that when we get uh, over to the computer. So, well, I've got it powered on, so let's try it out. i got a little push button here, and I push it. There we go. Dice shut. Now, as you can see, um, I think you can see in through on the camera there, I have a clear plastic um, lid glued on here. When I first tried this, I tried it without um, a cover, and the dice like to fly out. So that's um, one thing that you're going to want to do is put uh, a plastic cover on. And I just cut that out of an old... Um, one of those containers you get at the store that has the plastic lid, uh, real flimsy lid. I just cut that out and put it on, but that keeps the dice from flying out. Because if I didn't have that on there, the dice would fly out. We'll try it one more time, and then we'll take a look at how it's built. There you go. Now, you can change the duration of how long it shakes, and I'll show you that when we get to the sketch. But um, let's take a look at how this is built. So first, I'm going to get the battery pack out of the way. Because we're not going to need that. All right. I'll set this. Um, well, I suppose first we can go over. Of course, um, we have an Arduino board. Um, I'm using a Nano, but uh, any Arduino board is going to work. Um, I just like the Nanos because they plug right onto the, the breadboard and it makes it a lot uh, more convenient to build circuits. Then um, we simply have the push button. And this is set up so when the button goes high, it triggers the Arduino to shake the dice. And then, uh, of course, we got our battery plug. Um, you can use a 9-volt battery or anything you want um, between, uh, what was it, 7 volts and I think it's 14 or 15 max. And I was just using this little battery box I got. But a 9-volt battery would work with this perfectly fine. Or you could use a wall wart. All right. Um, well, I'm going to unplug this. That way we can turn this over. Hopefully you can see in there. Now right down here, you can see there's this little motor. It's a vibrating motor. I um, got this out of an old game controller, um, like your Xbox or PlayStation. If you've got a junk game controller, that's where you get these. It's just a little vibrating motor. It's a motor, and then it has an offset weight on it. So when the motor spins, it shakes and vibrates. And that's why I have this the cup mounted on these little springs. Now, you want um, a fairly loose spring. You don't want something that's going to be too tight. And um, you can get these at your hardware store. You're talking probably a dollar for the four of them. Um, 
I'm not sure on a part number. I just, I had a box of miscellaneous springs and I had these in there, but you want a spring that doesn't um, take a lot of force. You want the thing to be able to shake, but not too hard. Um, hopefully that makes sense to you, but um, yeah, that's what uh, shakes the dice is that vibrating motor and the springs. Now to connect the motor, what I did, um, you can see right here, at the top of the springs, I soldered the positive and negative lead onto the springs because the springs conduct electricity. And then at the bottom, I soldered on two wires to run to the Arduino board. The reason I did this is most of your, your shake in the springs is going to be in the middle. And then there's not as much shaking on the wire and um, a lot of shaking, I figured, after, you know, if you use this a lot, it might, the wire might break. So that's... Um, what I figured out to solve that problem. Then of course you want to have it on a base. It doesn't have to be super heavy, but you want something heavy enough that um, it's not going to be jumping all over and shaking. Now you could also put some rubber feet on the bottom. That might help um, keep it from shaking, but I noticed the way I have it set up, um, this is just a little piece of um, wood. It's kind of that compressed um, cardboard wood. Um, it's not super strong. If I pulled hard enough, it would break. But I chose it because um, it's got uh, it's kind of rough on this side. And the way I constructed all this, everything is hot glue gunned. The springs are hot glue gunned to the cup. Now this cup um, is actually one of those chewing tobacco tins. I had a couple of these laying around, and that worked perfect. But um, yeah, the springs are hot glue gunned to the cup and then they're hot glue under the piece of wood and the uh, little vibrator motor down here that is also hot glue gun to the bottom of the cup and i put it just slightly off centered to one side of the cup not much but just a little bit because i noticed that made it shake a little better all right um well then of course we've got the um the plastic see-through lid on the top so the, the dice don't fly out like I said, you could make this the bigger. Um, I'd say twice the size, not much more than that. And uh, then you could put more dice in there if um, you wanted this for shaking more dice. Um, I haven't really tried it with more than two, but I'm assuming you could probably get five dice in there without a problem. Maybe six, seven might be pushing it, I don't know. Um, not on this small of a cup, but on the bigger cup, you could get more. All right, um, with that, I think we can go over to the computer. And uh, what we'll do is we'll run through the Arduino sketch. Um, I'm not going to run through the schematic on this because it is really basic on how it's um, put together. But the, uh, the schematic for assembling this you can find on the website. And as long as well, the, uh, the code for the Arduino board, you can find that on the website as well. And there'll be a link for that in the description below. Just uh, look down there and click on it, and it'll bring you right to this project's web page. And um, it'll have the Arduino code, uh, a parts list, and, um, the, of course, uh, the schematic as well. But, um, all right, well, um, I'm going to fire up the computer. So I'll catch you over there in just a moment, and we'll take a look at the Arduino sketch. All right, I've got the Arduino sketch brought up here, so let's just get right into it. Well, the first thing we have here is we're defining the button, which is the push button that activates the shaker. And I uh, I just chose button, or I mean um, digital pin 13 on the Arduino. If you want to have your button connected to a different pin, just change this right here in the sketch to whatever digital pin you're connected to. Then next we're defining the uh, the pin that the, the shaker motor, the vibrating motor is on. And um, you're going to want to use a PWM pin. And uh, I chose three. That's just what I chose for this. Um, you can choose a different pin. Just make sure that you um, are using a PWM pin. Um, some Arduino boards are different than others. Um, the Nano and Uno, if I remember right, the pins, the uh, PWM pins are the same. For some of the other boards, I'm not too sure because I don't use them too much. 
All right, next uh, we'll get down to the void setup. And I forgot to remove this. This is something we actually don't even need. But then we're setting the pin mode for the button. That's an input because when the button is pushed, we're going to activate the shaker. And of course, the pin mo mode for the shaker is an output. Now we get down to the void loop. So what we're doing if, and we're digital reading the button, which is pin 13, if it's equal to high, which means the button is pushed, we're analog writing the shaker. And I put 175. Now, it's for the analog write, it's between 0 and I do believe it's 255, something like that. Oh, I'm, all of a sudden, I can't remember. I think it's 255 is the max. I could be wrong. I'll check. Um, if I'm wrong on that, I'll put a little note down here when you're watching the video. But next, then, we're just doing a delay, and I'm delaying for five seconds. Now, that's how long the dice are going to shake. So right here, this is what you want to change. If um, you want 10 seconds, just take this 5 out and put a 10 there because 5,000 is equal to 5 seconds. If you wanted a shorter amount of time, say you only wanted 2 seconds, change the 5 to a 2. Now also you can change this number up here to make the dice shake harder or not as hard. I was playing around with it. The setup I have, 175 shook the dice pretty good. Now you can go a little harder, a little lower. You're just going to want to play around with it depending on what kind of cup you use for your dice shaker. Just play with this number a little bit and you'll find one where it shakes the dice nice and the, uh, the shaker's not jumping all over your table and the dice ain't hitting the top of the cup so hard you think it's going to knock the cover off and the dice are going to go flying. So just play with that number and this one here you can play with as well. And then after that five seconds, we're just writing the, the pin to low, the, the shaker pin. And that's all there is to it. Now, there is a couple slight modifications you could do. You could add another button or two. And you could have another button and maybe have one button shake it for five seconds. And when you push the other button, it would make it shake for 10. So you could have different shake times or you could have one button it would shake it at the 175 pwm and another one it would shake it at the 200 so it was shaking it harder so that's some modifications you could do play around with it like you see the code is pretty pretty simple for this just play with it do whatever you want um i'm making this is available uh, public domain do whatever you want with it as long as you're not trying to sell it <laughs> that's the only thing i'd have a problem with but um I don't see any real market for selling this, so. All right. Um, I guess I can't really think of anything else. Uh, just a reminder, um, the sketch um, can be found on the, uh, the website. Uh, you just want to copy it and paste it in your Arduino IDE. The schematic for uh, how to connect the Arduino board up will be on there. Um, I will also try to take a couple up close pictures of the underside of the shaker so you can see how it was assembled a little better. And, uh, well, I think that uh, we can just wrap this video up. So I would like to thank you for joining us here at the Z-Hut today. If you found this information useful, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, also, please consider subscribing. I do lots of videos on... Arduinos and other electronic stuff. And I also throw in a few videos here and there and some other things. But, uh, all right. Well, have a great day. Thanks for joining us here. And remember, have fun building.